like to honor the professor as the students knew him today. The video you are about to see was played at the beginning of each of his Calm 101 classes, and this is how he made his grand entrance. As we say, Dick Doggett defined himself by his ability to implement innovative teaching techniques in his public speaking course. He took students who were at stage fright and convinced them not just that they could speak, but they could speak in front of that very difficult audience, their peers, without a text, without notes, without an outline. If, in a little bit, we'll see his excerpts from his Aims of Education speech. And you'll see Dick delivering a speech to the, to the university community without notes. As he did with his commencement address, he was selected by the students to do so, where he again did something like a 10 minute speech without apparent notes. I'm not Dick Doggett. <laughs> I am, however, one of the students. That is to say, I've known Dick for nearly three decades. He was my colleague, my friend, friend, father. He encouraged me not to hide my light under a bushel. And to speak out, I saw that something was wrong. And never, <coughs> never just go along with the crowd. I am proud to have known him. And I'm not ashamed to say, hey, I want to be like him. The school changed. We were all getting interested in film and making films. Uh, Dick was right there as an advocate with us. One of the legacies that Dick leaves behind, and I don't think very many people really know, is the point, the part that he plays in the foundation of the film program here at Chapel. Uh, I'm also the proud owner now of a Dick Docker tie, where probably, and I know what you feel. I, I, all of a sudden, I have this overwhelming urge to take on the administration. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the president! <laughs> you know, I, in serving this university as president, one of the things I I've tried to do over the years is when something negative happens, I really, it's almost a game that I, I really try to find some way, not just put a positive spin on whatever that negative thing is, but to turn that negative into a positive. I think we did that and succeeded when, uh, when, when the, the year that our law school students sued us. Uh, the year, one year after we brought football back to Chapman, uh, the team was 
suspended for a violation of some sort. And even most recently when, when we lost in the, uh, the bidding for the Crystal Cathedral. But try as I might, it's been a number of months now since Dick's passing, I just haven't been able to find that silver lining. When, when you lose someone who made Chapman Chapman, who was in many respects Mr. Chapman, it's really tough to find something positive to say. About the only thing I can come up with is that if we can somehow get dig inside our heads, maybe collectively we can all become at least marginally On the way home, in the car, I'm talking about the show and saying, you know, wasn't this brilliant, wasn't it incredible, and lathering on until I realized that I was having a one-way conversation mm -hmm. here. Dick was deep in thought, and so I finally said, what's wrong? Did, were you not pleased with the show? And I got all these non sequiturs, such as, I'm going to do it. Uh, it's, it's going to work. This is it. This is going to work. This is exactly what I've needed. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> that was the birth of the Mickey Mouse thing. He wanted to use it as a bonding sort of thing. And one of the first things that students had to learn, Michael, I may need you. <laughs> they had to learn the Mickey Mouse loot, and this was a bonding thing. So first of all, if you see someone on campus and you like this person, you are obligated to give them a full Mickey. 